There are so many AI tools in the education space that as an educator, sometimes it's really difficult to try to pick the right one. And honestly, a lot of them do the same thing until now. Snorkel gives students the ability to record, kind of like what Flipgrid used to do. Microsoft, I'm still a little upset about that. And actually gives some really good personalized feedback as to what they input. So let's get started. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gabriel Carrillo. If you are new to the channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button. That way you get notified when new ed tech videos like this are published. So let's go ahead and get started with Snorkel. Let's go ahead and get logged in. Go ahead and go to snorkel.app and go ahead and click sign up. I've already got an account, so I'm going to go ahead and click log in. And they do have a login with Google or Microsoft button. So let's go ahead and use that. And we're here. This is what the dashboard for Snorkel looks like. And today we're going to be covering a couple things. Number one, we're going to create a class. After that, we are going to assign an activity to our students. And then after that, we are going to share it with our students. So let's go ahead and create our first class. I'm going to click on the create class button here and I'm going to go ahead and name it. Tech bytes period one. And create. Now that I've created my first class, let's go ahead and assign an activity to our students. So let's go ahead and click on our class and assign activity. They have a library of a bunch of different content and grade levels also aligned to different standards and teaks. Or if you don't like what you see, click on the create your own. I'm going to go ahead and create activity. And the title is going to be peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Let's go ahead and click on the whiteboard to actually add the instructions there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my text tool and go ahead and start typing. All right, I can add images, I can highlight things. And this is basically what the students are going to see and their whiteboard where they do their explanations looks similar to this. I'm going to go ahead and just click done editing for the sake of this. And I can also type the instructions here. And now that I've typed it, I can scroll down here and set up AI feedback. This is where we're going to make the magic happen. Enable and autofill with AI. So if I do that, what Snorkel is doing now is it's taking a look at the prompt and it's taking a look at its bank and seeing what are the possible answers that it could use. So here's what I've got expected answer. That looks good. If there's anything you need to edit, you can click use and edit here. And what it does is it creates, it puts everything here where you can then make any edits as you like, but I'm going to just keep it as is. I'm going to go ahead and click done. And now I can assign that to my students period one. Students see peers work after submission. This is very Flipgrid like. So we're going to click no because we want to make sure our students know that their responses are particular to us. We're the only eyes that are going to see them for now. Student to student comments. Let's go ahead and turn those off and click assigned. Now there's our activity. I can go to the activity and view student responses as they come in, or I could take a look at the link here by copying it. And I could then put that into my learning management system, Google Classroom, Canvas, Blackboard, whatever you use. You could throw that in there and that's how your students access it. Now, the question is, what does this look like on the student end? Let's take a look. So here I am as a student, I'm gonna go ahead and click login with Google and choose my account. Continue if this is my first time. And the beauty of it is as a teacher, you do not have to create classes in snorkel by rostering students or inputting email addresses. As soon as the students click on an activity that you created for them, it automatically adds a student to the class. Here is the actual response or the activity. I'm going to go ahead and click to go ahead and begin. Please explain the steps needed. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and record screen and voice. I'm going to click allow. All right. So in order to create a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, the first thing that you have to do is number one, you gather the ingredients. After you gather those ingredients, what you do is you take a butter knife and spread some peanut butter onto one slice of bread. 
After that, the next step would be to next take some jelly and spread that on the other slice of bread. Put the two slices together so that the peanut butter and jelly are now, I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way. Let's get that out of the way. And then lastly, enjoy. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit end review as a student and I could submit or I can continue recording. Snorkel is now doing its thing in the background and check this out. It actually created points where I actually spoke about that particular topic and it broke down and gave me feedback on each one of those points. Check this out at 11 seconds. It says good job on starting with gathering the ingredients. That's the first step to any recipe. If students need to actually hear that auditory, there it is. At 20 seconds, you explain how to spread the peanut butter and jelly well, but don't forget to mention that we should use a plate to keep, to keep things clean. Oh my gosh, check that out. Also, should we clean the knife before using it for the jelly? We should, but we all know that we really don't. And lastly, make sure your instructions are clear. When you say put the two slices together so that the peanut butter and jelly are now smushed together, do you mean the spreads should be facing each other? So that's the kind of feedback that this particular app, Snorkel, was able to give me based on what not only what I typed, but what I also said. I didn't necessarily have to type those instructions. I could have drew it out with some of the tools within Snorkel, but you guys get the idea. It's actually pretty neat. If I wanted to respond again as a student, I could click respond again and respond again. Now, what does this look like for the teacher? I'm back at the dashboard. Here's my class. I'm going to go ahead and click on my class. There's my assignment and I have a response. There it is. And I, as the teacher, can click on it. I could scrub through each one. I could take a look at the feedback. And now I have a better idea of what this student is thinking. I can also type some comments here in the feedback. And I could send this privately. I can record it as a video. I could send it off to the students. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's how Snorkel works. In the teacher dashboard, you'll see that you have a couple different tabs. I have responses here, insights, and settings. I only have one response, but let's just say I started gathering about 10 or 15 responses. It would give me insights on every single student, and it would also give me an overview of what my students still need help with. For example, if half of my students who responded did not say that they needed to clean off the knife before you grab the jelly and put it in there, then it would, for me as a teacher, it would give me that feedback here as an insight. That way I as a teacher now know that I should probably cover that in an upcoming lesson or what have you to review and make sure that we fill in those instructional gaps. Start playing around with Snorkel, see some of the activities that you can add for your particular students and start getting some feedback from them through the use of AI. Like I said in the earlier portion, there's a lot of AI tools out there. This one stands out a little bit differently because it gives student feedback based on video and oratory responses. And the best part, Snorkel will sign a privacy agreement. Give Snorkel a shot and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you share it with that teacher across the hall, a neighbor or somebody, and make sure that you're subscribed. That way you get notified when new videos like this are published. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, Buen provecho.